In this video, I will show you how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to uh, do a, a hypothesis test on one population mean. The first thing that we have to do um, is we have to get data into uh, the calculator. So for those of you that are my students, um, this is example one from the handout that you either saw in class or online. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the stats uh, menu right here. And when this comes up, we're going to stay in the edit menu and we're going to choose option one. So we're just going to hit enter and select that. Now I already have the data typed in, so list one is populated. If you have to type the data in, all you're going to do is type the value, hit enter to get to the next row of that column until you have all the data in. Since I have it in, I'm going to go back to the stats menu. When I'm in the stats menu right here, all the inferential methods are going to be found under the tests option right here. So we're going to use the right arrow to navigate over to the tests. And the test that I want to perform is the t-test, option number two. So we'll go down, we'll select that and hit enter and there's two ways that we can get information in so I had something set up where it was looking for summary statistics like I already had the summary values from the sample um, this case I don't have that I have the data in a list so I'm going to go back here and select data and hit enter and this is going to limit what I'm able to type in um, first thing it's going to ask for is what is our our mu sub zero value which happens to be um, 68 and then the data is stored into list one. All right. If you have to change that, all you'd have to do is hit the second button and either choose one, two, three, four, five, or six for list one, two, three, four, five, or six if your data is stored in a different list. And then we have to go down, we have to choose the alternative hypothesis. And if you recall the example that I had, I said we believe that students are taller than 68 inches on average. So the taller than is telling us that for H sub A, the alternative hypothesis, it would be our population mean is greater than the, the uh, value of 68 mu sub zero. So I'm going to have to hit enter to select that. It'll be in black bold right there if it is selected. And then we'll go down to calculate and hit enter. And once this processes, it'll show you that you're doing the t-test. You should always check and make sure you're doing the right test with the results. It'll show you what the alternative hypothesis is. This is our test statistic, 1.81029. And then our p-value is 0 0.05658, all right? And then it also will give the summary statistics down below. So you don't have to calculate x bar, s, and n. If you have the data in the list, it'll calculate it for you in this step as well. So hopefully this helps you with doing hypothesis testing on one mean using the TI-84 graphing calculator.